Crystal Wick here with Cynthia. Hi, Crystal. We're here at the Art Beats Cafe. You know it's our favorite thing to do, isn't it? Yes. It well, is. besides eating chocolate <laughs> and making jewelry and petting my puppies. I mean, there's a few other things that we like to, but okay. we do love our Art Beats Cafe because we get to share mm -hmm. stuff with you. Mm -hmm. All of our beady peeps out there. And you guys, today we are talking about symbolism. Mm -hmm. Symbolism <laughs> in jewelry making. I think... I think that's how I started. Okay. Long, long ago, is a symbolic piece, and it had to do with my puppy dying, and I. Oh. Yeah, it was very sad, and I wanted to, you know, keep a m memory, Hi. you know, other than Hi. pictures, and so I used a little piece of um, her hair, and I put it in resin in a little bezel. Oh. It was not at all professional, like, <laughs> like it would be today, but it might have even been a bottle cap. Now that I think of it, <laughs> it was a bezel bottle cap. And it was so meaningful to me, and I carried it around like a little totem, and it was so cute. And I realized oh. that a lot of my life mm -hmm. is reflected through jewelry and symbols. Oh. And so I thought, you know, a lot of people are in the same boat, and that's why we make jewelry many times. And so this is a that's true. fun topic for us to discuss with you guys. So That's true. Yeah. Mm. How yeah. about you? Well, yeah, that's true that symbolism is all about, especially in jewelry, it represents yourself. Yeah. So it's all about who you are, and you want to share that with other people. Mm -hmm. And this year, this is a trend that is very, very popular. We've seen that everywhere. So um, we put together some stuff to show. We did, and <coughs> boy, is this fun. <laughs> yes. So let's start with something that is really close to me. I love steampunk. I have a special bond with it. I don't know why. You're a steampunk type of gal. <laughs> And something that always represents steampunks are the clock mm -hmm. and the wheel. So this is one symbol that they constantly use in steampunk. So that's why I use them a lot in my jewelry. Nice. And also feathers. So I love steampunk. My daughter loved Doctor Who, mm -hmm. you know, this English show. So Doctor Who, one of his symbols is the bow tie. So she made this ring with a bow tie also. So cute. Yeah, so that's another way for her to represent herself right. with a symbol, with something that she really loves. Yes. So you, you kind of want to think, okay, what do I really love? What do I want to show? Um, we have here, for example, <coughs> the breast cancer awareness. So if you're a survivor, maybe this is something that you want to show. Mm -hmm. um, if you're someone very close to Irish culture, what about showing also some Celtic um, <coughs> products? We have some really cute charms here and the clover. Those are lovely. And Celtic is so popular. It I is. think even if you're not Irish, I know a lot of people that wear it anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We'll let you. <laughs> yeah, some of the designs are really pretty, especially I like the clatter. The clatter design is really, really beautiful and traditional. It's very old. Yes. So it's kind of an ancient form of representation which is nice yes it is uh, the infinite sign it's infinity. always infinity yes. yes always very popular the peace sign you know everyone loves to <coughs> to have the peace sign and then words if you want to do something with words um, like on this one we have love lol I think is really funny here we have a uh, hope and miracle and Tirakas came up also with those beautiful links with love breeze, those. love and namaste nice and this one that we all <laughs> should wear. I, I love do. I to wear it be. All the time. <laughs> I wear it all the time. I love to be. I mean, come on. Wear it proudly. Come on, gang. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so those are ways to show what you like and, and what uh, you want to show um, your feelings. So some of the things that uh, has a lot of meaning for me also are things like the lotus sign. The oh. lotus symbol is very, very interesting. Um, and first I want to apologize. I love symbol. I'm not a super duper um, expert in it. So those are just meaning that I know. So if I don't want to offend anybody <laughs> if I say something <laughs> wrong or if I'm missing something. But the lotus is a sign of purity and, and uh, beauty and rebirth. Oh. Because it's a beautiful flower that comes out from the mud. Mm -hmm. Right. And it, it's such a gorgeous flower. I it just is. love it. Uh, I love also anything that is with the Buddha. Oh, we both do. Yeah. We love the Buddha. It's a great sign to just like take a deep breath and kind of center yourself. You know, every time I look at it, that's what I think right. of. You too? Yes. Yeah, it's yes. really calming. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the Buddha, Buddha faces everywhere yes. this year. 
So it's really a trend that is very really strong. Buddha's made a comeback. <laughs> 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 Not that he was ever really gone, but <laughs> Resur the resurgence of the Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, then the tree of life. Who doesn't mm -hmm. like the tree of life? Mm -hmm. It represents so much. It represents that we are all connected, that we mm -hmm. all come from the same thing. Uh, and this tree is nature. nature. So everybody loves the tree of life. Mm -hmm. The elephant. So that was something new for me. Love those. Those are so cute, too. Look at those. Yes. Oh, adorable. And the elephant represents power, mm. strength, and wisdom. Mm. Wisdom mm. because um, it lives very for a very long time. Right. right. So that, that was something very new for me. That's nice. That's really nice. The hand of Fatima. So the hand of Fatima was always a talisman of good luck. Oh. And it also represents uh, patient, uh, while loyal loyalty and faith oh that's nice and yes and we've seen that also yeah oh and the w the little crystal hands of fatima are yes. just adorable up close they're really really beautiful. Very beautiful i can't wait to dive in and make something out of those yes anxious and then the ohm sign hmm. so the ohm is the uh, i think is the more complex one i couldn't really figure it out what really represent because it represents so many mm -hmm. things uh, first, it's also a sound. Mm -hmm. It's not just a sign. And every single curve in the sign represents something. Mm -hmm. But if I just put in one word, it's all about, um, it's everything. It's the beginning, the middle, yeah. and the end. It's like all-encompassing. Yes. It's and they, um, I've read a little bit about the ohm and the sound, like the first sound in right. the universe was the ohm. Oh, okay. And so that's why a lot of meditative and a lot of um, yoga studies are based on that. So right. the ohm is, you know, the symbol is everywhere and you can, you know, customize it to whatever fits mm -hmm. for you, but typically speaking, that is what it signifies. Yes. That's cool. Uh, yes. And it's a beautiful sign in general. It's very There's pretty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Something calming about it. Yes. Oh, I love it. So that's all the sign. And you have something about crystals. Oh, these are so fun. Yeah. So I love, um, doing meditation and doing chakra work. Okay. And so the chakras are the different chakras of your body and they represent different areas in your body and different energy you know, cycles in your body. Mm -hmm. And so when you do meditative work and things like that, it's very powerful and calming to focus on those. And there, there's different colors that are identified with that and different sounds and that okay. sort of thing. And so I did some chakra jewelry. So I did a bracelet there with each of the chakra colors okay. in a Swarovski pearl, which I love, yes. and then chakra earrings, and those are out of Swarovski crystals, and so the colors correspond to each chakra in your body. Okay. So it's kind of a nice you know, reminder, and they're pretty to look at, and yes. they're just very symbolic. So they look nice, just regular, you know, yeah. wearing with jeans or something. But then if you are really into the symbolism and the meaning of it, it's kind of nice to, mm -hmm. to wear that sort of thing. So the colors matching so well together. Aren't they nice? It's really beautiful. Well, leave it to Swarovski. <laughs> 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 you know, you can't go wrong with those guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> As you know, we love it. We love Swarovski. And then we have over here, oh, again, it's the Buddha. The Buddha. Yes, yes, the Buddha. And we have some Om little bit of ohm down there and um, gosh just really a beautiful palette like yes. I love to look at all of these pieces because mm -hmm. they're so meaningful you know they're just gorgeous so yes. and it nice. is fun to create with them because they have s some meanings mm -hmm. and and you feel that and That's then true. it's really inspire you to create some jewelry and if somebody's going through a difficult time in your life mm -hmm. like your mother or your sister or somebody it's really really wonderful to create a piece for right. them to help give them strength or to give them a word yes. to, to tell them, you know, here's what I'm wishing for you. And, you know, it's just really, really, I don't know, special. And I think it's meaningful. And we're kind of yes. looking for that in our lives these days. Mm -hmm. That's more true. meaning, more That's meaning. True. And, oh, and then show your oh bracelet. Right. We yes. love this bracelet. So I always love making jewelry with ribbon because they're so simple to do. And here I use two charms that I hook directly on the ribbon. And I put the Namaste link. And here I put a bell and the charm. So to show you how it's, this is so easy. To me, it looks a little complicated <laughs> when I saw it. And she keeps saying it's easy. So I said, OK, show me. Yes. <laughs> to show you, I'm going to take it apart. And you will She's see gonna what it is. She's going to take it off. And then you'll be like, what? What? So this yeah. is uh, just made a knot at the end. And it's just a ribbon that you unwrapped. Look and it. that's it. So I place everything. 
That's all, all she did though. is just just weave it through the ribbon. Like it's yes. uh, like it's five minutes. That's yes. amazing. Like the namaste, you just put the ribbon on the I back love like that. that. And then you wrapped it around and you tied it in a knot, and the knot doesn't stay, so you can undo it and retie it over and over again. Exactly. And the thing is, so you clever. Know, we all have different size of breasts. Mm -hmm. So with that, when you put your bracelet on, then you can move the charm wherever you want. I love it. And you can put more, because it's always fun to have it's more. More is better <laughs> when it comes to jewelry. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's a great design. Thank really you. fun. Yeah, fun. And, uh, and there are so many different of colors of ribbon, so... It's always fun to play with. For everybody. Yeah, you could do it yes. to match anything, or if you're feeling blue, get a blue ribbon. <laughs> make you happier. <laughs> oh, gosh, this was so much fun, Cynthia. Yes, it was. Thanks for sharing expression and our um, wonderful symbolism jewelry. Yeah, and we're welcome. happy that we got to share that with you all, our BD peeps. Hope you got some great ideas and great design techniques and things like that for you. And um, love to have you join us here with Art Beats Cafe. Be sure to sign up on our newsletter and our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode. As always, Cynthia and I say, happy beating. <laughs> <laughs>